I'm Chelsea Shears. And I'm Marley Zeman. And today we'll be doing an instructional video on two volleyball skills. The first one being the forearm pass. To do these skills, you'll need an open gym or floor space and athletic shoes and appropriate apparel to do this. You will also need a volleyball. Um, the intended audience that we are focusing on is high school students wanting to know the step-by-step -step breakdown of a platform pass. There are four main types of learning styles, visual, kinesthetic, analytical, and auditory. We personally learn best through visual and kinesthetic. Visual meaning you see and observe a skill. Kinesthetic meaning feeling, moving, and stimulating a skill yourself. With the forearm pass, the first thing you need to be concerned about is having a good ready position. Knees bent, shoulders width apart. Weight on your toes, being ready to move forward. Relax arms out in front. Next, focus on putting together a good platform. Palms out, one palm over the other, thumbs parallel. Before contact with the ball, make sure arms straight. Face the ball, lining up your core with the ball. Next, angle your platform to the target where you want the ball to go. We let our platform do all the work by dropping our shoulder to let that guide us. Put your weight on the foot that is leading to the target. So if you saw when she passed the ball, her right foot was guiding her, dropping her right inside shoulder. When a ball is coming directly at a player, lined up with her core, there's no need to drop the shoulder. Making sure your weight is on your toes, you can move left and right, so if the ball is tossed to the side. Notice how her eyes follow the ball. She uses her eyes to track the ball all the way to her platform. Being balanced throughout the whole task. Now that we know how to correctly pass a volleyball, our goal is to get our feet to the ball every time. Focusing on footwork when the ball's deep, you're gonna push back with one foot guiding you. Weight still forward, ready to move forward. In case ball is short, we move forward, plant, bend our knees, pass the ball, like this. She expected the ball to go deep, but was ready to move forward with her feet. This time, I'm gonna toss it deep where she has to move faster. Like that, she is still focusing her eyes on her forearms, passing the ball, because our expected outcome of the pass is to reach the setter. To add to the skill of passing, we need to focus on being able to control a hard-driven ball, whether it's a serve or a topspin down ball. We focus on this by cushioning the ball, or also known as absorbing. From a side view, this is what it should look like. This slows down the momentum of the ball, taking the heat or power away from the incoming ball. This keeps the ball on our side. To take it to the next level, incorporate a partner when working on passing. Partner passing is helpful when you're looking to practice on reps.
The second skill that we will be teaching is serving. The space needed for this skill is an open gym space, and the equipment you will need is a full cart of volleyballs, athletic shoes and athletic apparel, and a net to serve over. The audience intended for this skill is anyone that wants to learn the breakdown of serving a volleyball. Um, the intended audience, however, for the jump serve is more so for high school age, uh, considering the more advanced the skill is. We will start with the toss. This is the most important part of serving a volleyball. If you are right-handed, your right foot should be behind and your left foot should be in front with the weight transferred on your back foot, which would be your right foot. It is important to keep the ball out in front while serving and it is in your non-dominant, non-serving hand. Because the toss is so important in the serve, it is, it is essential to practice your toss before contact contacting the ball. You want to make sure that you get a nice high toss, giving yourself time to anticipate when you will be contacting the ball. It is very important that you make sure that the toss is out in front of you and you don't toss behind you. That is what it looks like when you toss out in front and when you toss behind your back. Make After you are comfortable with your toss, the weight transfer onto your left foot, you step through the ball as follows. Once you get the transfer of weight onto your left foot and you get your toss down, then you can practice contacting the ball. It is important to not contact the ball underneath as follows, or on top, as follows, because that will create the ball, a top spin serve going into the net. And if you contact underneath the ball, it will skyrocket the ball out of bounds, most likely. That's why it is essential to contact the ball straight on the pin in the middle of the ball. It is important to keep a firm, solid wrist when contacting the ball so that your wrist doesn't break, causing the ball to go into the net. Notice how she keeps a firm wrist and pops the ball. Elbow up. Notice how her elbow stays up high as she contacts the ball, giving the ball a high five. She doesn't follow through or swing her arm as you would in a spike, but she instead keeps her hand high, elbow up, and pops the ball. We hope our passing and serving skill video has helped those watching gain a greater and more in-depth understanding of two of the most important skills of volleyball. To review passing, volleyball passing is essential. Passing the ball begins the play and allows the team to get the ball to the hitters to score points. Learning to pass should be the first priority when learning to play. The key to passing a ball is control. Learning to judge how fast the ball is coming and what kind of spin is coming off the server. Serves vary in speed and type, but no matter what kind of serve you get, your goal is to have your pass go right to the top of the tape where the setter is. Like you saw in the video, we started with a ready position. Before the server contacts the ball, get into a ready position so that when the ball crosses the net, you'll be ready to move forward, side to side, or back. Once you see the serve coming, you'll need to get both feet behind the ball, get to the spot quickly, and then wait for the ball to come to you. Keep your hands free as you move and connect them when you get into position. Then comes the platform. Remember that the platform is the area between your wrist and your elbow where you contact the ball. Platform is important when you tilt your shoulders. We also demonstrated that in our skill video. Now to review serving. Volleyball serving is one of the most fundamental skills in volleyball. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be tall or unusually strong. All you have to do is practice, and you're in luck, because it is the one skill in volleyball you can practice all by yourself. Just find a court, a court get a bucket of balls, and keep serving. Posture while serving a volleyball is very important. 
the athlete's body position, correct weight distribution, and ideal arm and foot placement before you actually serve the ball are very important. The toss comes next. As you throw the ball up in the air before contact is made, it is important to get the right height of the ball in order to get your arm speed down. The ideal toss and height of each type of serve is going to be different according to your height or your timing of the ball. The contact point is the position of the server's hand upon the, move, the moment of contact. The contact point is significant because it determines the trajectory of the ball.